So let's look at Euler's method in 2D, where it really comes into its own geometrically, and you'll, you'll see really what, what it means and what we're doing. And the basic idea is we're going to have a curve, and that is the one true curve that exists, and which in the case of the shark tuna, there is no formula for. There's only the differential equation. And that's going to produce some kind of trajectory. And then starting from an initial condition, we're going to take the little tiny step that is Euler's method, which is taking the change vector and multiplying it by a very small dt. So this change vector is going to be the change vector s prime t prime that is appropriate at that point. And then the little blue segment is s prime t prime times delta t. And that's our little Euler segment. And then we're going to be at a new point, and we're going to repeat that process. So that's what it looks like geometrically. We're literally lurching in little finite steps to approximate the red curve. So the spreadsheet calculation of the Euler's approximation to the 2D curve is going to have more columns, but it's basically the same idea. We're going to have a T. We're going to have an S. We're going to have a t for tuna. We're going to have s prime, t prime, s prime times delta t, t prime times delta t, s plus s prime times delta t, and t plus t prime times delta t. And then these two columns are going to move and become the next s and t. So if this is time 0, this is going to be s0. This is going to be t0. This is going to be s0 prime, as calculated from the differential equation. This is going to be t0 prime as calculated from the differential equation. And then s0 prime times delta t, t0 prime times delta t. Then we add them, and we carry the two last columns forward, and they become s1 and t1. And the time is now 1 delta t. So let's do that with actual numbers, just to make sure we understand what's going on here. So let's do some actual numbers, just to make sure that we understand what's going on here. At time 0, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to start from the point 2 comma 3. So that's s t is 2, 3. And now the vector field is going to give us s prime t prime. So s0 is 2, t0 is 3. What is s prime? s prime is st minus s. That's 2 times 3 minus 2. That's 4 t prime is equal to minus st plus t. That's minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. So our change vector at that point, we already see, is the change vector in the direction plus 4 minus 3. There is our change vector right there. But now we have to take a very short segment of that change vector. We don't want to follow that change vector for one whole time unit. We want to follow it for a very short time. And that's delta t. And we have to pick a delta t. And I'm going to pick right here delta t equals 0.1. So now s prime times delta t is 4 times 0.1, or 0.4. T 
prime is minus 3 times delta t is minus 3 times 0.1 is minus 0.3. Now s plus s prime, and we now notice that we're using our vector addition. We just used scalar multiplication here and here to multiply the vector by delta t. Now we're going to use vector addition to add that little vector to the previous vector. And s plus s prime times delta t is 2 plus 0.4. So our next s state is 2.4. t plus t prime times delta t is t plus minus 0.3, which is 3 plus minus 0.3, which is 2.7. And now at t equals 0.1, that is 1 delta t, we now have, and we can pull our column down a little bit, for the second row, which is 0.1 is now the time. The new s value is the old s plus s prime times delta t, so the new s value is 2.4. The new t value is 2.7. And now we plug 2.4 and 2.7 into this and get our new s prime and our new t prime, and we do all the multiplication, and we carry that down to the next level. And in that way, we, with, with this spreadsheet method, we generate as many steps as we need. So here is your homework assignment. I want you to take the shark tuna model. Um, the time step of delta t is a little large. We could get into some trouble with lurching in large steps. So I would like you to take delta t equals 0.01. That's a much shorter and much better approximation. And I want you to do a whole uh, trajectory for the shark tuna model, let's say starting from 2, 3. And I'd like you to do 5,000 steps by hand for Thursday. Or write a five-line SAGE program that will do this in a 30 seconds.